Hey guys, Sigjans here back with a new video and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a 2D gaming banner and I mean you're going to, most people are going to like this banner and I made this banner in Photoshop CC but you should be able to make it in Photoshop CS6 or CS5 or any version of Photoshop even maybe probably CS2 because I didn't use any fancy things on this banner but it still looks really clean and really good so to get started all I did was I had to go to my web browser and I'll leave the link for this in the description and I went to the YouTube website and downloaded their uh, channel or templates now what this is is uh, guides and everything for your banner so if you double click it and open it as you can see it should look something like this and now the first thing I did was make a new layer so after you make a new layer, go ahead and use. you can use the rectangle tool or you can use this tool. Any one you like, uh, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to set the stroke to zero for now. And then I'm going to make two rectangles, one on top and one on the bottom. So, uh, and put drag this to the top. And yeah, so once you do that make another one or you can just duplicate this one and drag it down to the bottom it doesn't really matter and once you make them what you want to do is you just want to uh hold down shifts on your keyboard and go to the layers and click on both of them right click and click on merge shapes now once you do this it should merge them into one layer and you can double click on that to change the name i'm just going to change it to rec or border or anything you want to call it and then once you have done that make another layer and on this layer we're gonna just fill it with black so uh, get your paint bucket tool go to your foreground color and set it to black and just drag this and fill the whole area with black now once you do this you want to drag this uh, layer down under the white uh, rectangles so it should look something like this now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, bring in the pictures I got from Google Images. Uh, you can go ahead and search for any gaming image that you want from Google Images. Make sure they are in 1080p and good quality though. And so let me show you the pictures I got. So if I go ahead to my desktop and I put YouTube banner resources. So these are all for this video. So the first one I got was a Call of Duty wallpaper. And I just searched that up and this one came up and I think it looks really nice so I got it so drag it into Photoshop and once you resize once you um to resize your pictures make sure that you are uh, always holding down shifts on your keyboard because otherwise it's not gonna um, it's gonna mess up the proportions of the picture and even really good looking wallpapers and everything are gonna be messed up if you don't hold down shifts when you are resizing now press enter once you are done and you think it is at a good size and then click on it and then it would ask you to rasterize the uh, picture click on ok because we're gonna be needing this for the future and once you have uh, resized it and placed it on the right place uh, leave it and get another picture so yeah hold down shift and resize and once when you think it's at a good size uh, get and grab another picture so I think this this uh, looks good let me resize it a bit so this is looking good and I'm gonna get the last one which is a Batman wallpaper and most people are gonna like this most uh, some people maybe not but it's gonna be it's just gonna be in the background so it's just to add dimension to the banner and it's not really gonna be seen by everyone and not everyone is gonna notice it so drag this to the right and yeah once we have done that we could press enter to apply and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure so make sure to drag the GTA uh, picture over the Batman but not over the
so once you have done this what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be going go ahead and grab your um, eraser tool so I got my eraser tool right here and make sure both of these pictures the ones on the side are over the w picture in the middle and then uh, go ahead click on your brush uh, your brush and make sure the hardness is at zero and the size is at about 300 pixels and then you can just click and get rid of s to blend in all the pictures get rid of some parts of the pictures to blend them in together and I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the Batman so select the layer and as you can see this is not rasterized yet so if I click on it I can rasterize it and then I'm doing the same thing with this and I'm gonna do this until we can see the GTA uh, one and it's looking nice now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer and once you create a new layer you want to go ahead go to your foreground color click on it and set it to the color that you want it to be so let's say if you want it to be red set it to red I mean I use red for uh, the first one I made so I'm probably gonna go with red right now too so I set mine to red and now what you want to do is go to um, hold down shift and click on all of the pictures that uh, you have on the background and decrease the opacity to like 62 50 around that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this one get your uh, paint bucket tool and fill it with red and set the opacity uh, the set it from normal to overlay and it's kind of messed up right now so uh, get uh, select all of the pictures again and decrease the opacity until it looks good so it's just uh you just gotta you just gotta adjust it and see what you like I think it looks good on this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the I'm gonna select the GTA wallpaper because as you can see you can see the lines over here and that doesn't look too good so select it rasterize and I'm gonna grab the um, eraser tool again and get rid of the lines so as you can see it, bl it blends in a lot better like this and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and so as you can see we made these two white uh, rectangles right when we began this tutorial so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead to those right click and go into their blending options and once you have done that go into click here click on FX and go into stroke so you want to set the color of the stroke to white and size could be a bit like around six is nice and set, set the uh, blend mode to overlay so what this does is as you can see it would add a really cool effect on the edges of the, on the edge of the banner and it looks a lot nicer I think and make another layer and you can name this lighting so once you named it get your uh, brush tool and go ahead change the foreground color to white and then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add a bit of a lighting effect on top so it looks a bit cooler and do it until you think it's good enough and then you can decrease the opacity by a bit not too much just a bit and yeah I think it's looking a lot better already and now what we're gonna do is just grab your text tool and you can use any fonts for this by the way but today I am gonna be using ra uh, railway it's a free font I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you want to go ahead and download it so I'm gonna be typing in the name of the channel so let's say the name of the channel was AG gaming 
and if you don't know i made a tutorial on how to make a gaming uh logo so you can go ahead and check that out too i used ag gaming in that video so that's just why i'm using ag gaming for now too so just type it in so i accidentally typed in a h instead of ag so ag gaming and press command a to select all of it and you can set the size to like uh till you like it so it's you can guess and once you like it you can stop there press command c i think it's it's a bit too big not too much but a bit too big now uh i think this is a good size now what we're gonna do is go ahead again grab the text tool and highlight uh the ag and from uh from bold i'm gonna change it to a medium and then for the gaming one i'm gonna put this to an extra bold so now it just adds a bit more dimension to the text and it looks much cooler and right click on it click on blending options and then we're gonna add another stroke to this and we're gonna do the same thing so instead of uh being positioned inside of the text make sure it's outside uh, and the size it could be two it doesn't have to be too big for the text because you don't want it to take all of, the, all of the attention away from the text just a bit of feature to make it look nicer now once we have done this we can add some extra text like make sure to comment and like welcome to the channel and stuff so I'm gonna make a text that says welcome to the channel first but before I do that, I'm going to decrease the size to like about a four and I'm going to use all caps and type in welcome to the official channel of. So as you can see, I have typed it in, but it's all in extra bold. So I'm going to put it to light and let's see, we can uh, go with a six. Yeah, six seems nice for this one and then drag it on top of the main text, which is the AG Gaming. Now under this, I'm gonna add another text that says make sure to like and comment. This is not a must, I'm just adding this so the banner is not really plain. So let's go ahead and add it. So once you add it, drag it down. And again, I'm probably gonna grab the text tool again and I'm gonna highlight comments and I'm gonna make it mm, stand out. So bold for comments and highlight like again and bold for that too so they can stand out from the other text. And I think it's looking a lot better already. Now, once we have done this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, sponsors and maybe if you don't have sponsors uh, you can add your social media links and everything so on the side I'm gonna add sponsors so get my text tool and type in uh, sponsors so so once you have done that just drag it down and we're gonna go ahead and grab some logos of some companies just to show you how to add it. So uh, let's go to Google Images. So I'm gonna go to Google Images and make sure, so let's say one of your sponsors were Clorox. So let's say Clorox. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Logo. PNG so you want to make sure that you include PNG uh, for everything you search up for when you're trying to get logos for a thumbnail or a banner because you don't want the background of the logo in uh, your in your banner or something you just want the logo so make sure you include PNG in the search and I'm gonna get another logo too so let's say G Fuel uh, so uh, which one should I go with? I'll just go with the first one I get. Uh, this doesn't look too nice. So I'm just going to try to, this one looks nicer. So I'm going to drag this one down 
and we're gonna add it to the banner now adding it is really easy just drag it inside of Photoshop and as you can see this one has no background as uh, and the G fuel doesn't have one too so hold down shift and resize it by dragging it and when it's at a good size you want it once it's at, at a good size you can uh, change the position if you want and I'm gonna get the G fuel logo now and drag it inside of Photoshop and uh, you can resize this too uh, it doesn't have to be too big uh, you don't want it to take uh, you don't want it uh, to have all the attention on your banner just make it small and you just want to advertise your sponsors and that's it so on this side we're gonna be adding our social media links so add a text and instead of course we said sponsors on this side for so for this side we're just gonna say something simple like uh, uh, keep in touch or something like that so once you have your uh, text you can drag it down like this and I have already gotten uh, some logos for social media so I got Twitter and I'll be holding down shifts again resizing it to the best size that you think it could go to doesn't have to be too big again make sure you're not making anything too big you don't want it to except for the main text make sure you're not making anything too big because then it would take away from its minimalistic style of a banner so drag down uh, another logo and resize this one too uh, make sure it's the same size so I'm gonna place it next to the Twitter one and see till it comes to be the same size so right now I'm gonna drag it down and get the Instagram too but I'm just probably not gonna do that if you want you can do it and you can just type in your username now so let's say mine was uh, a G so I'm gonna put at a G gaming so and then I'm gonna set this to a thin italic and place it here and I'm gonna duplicate the same thing and place it down over here if you want you can change the font and everything but I think it's looking really nice now and once you are finished you need to go ahead and export so to export click on file and then click on export and click on save for web now once you do this it should take you to a uh, page that looks sort of sort of like this and don't put it at PNG 8 uh, if the file size is too big then do but if it's not put it to PNG 24 and click on save and this would give you the best quality on your banner and yeah guys this was the video for today next time I'm trying to make a Camtasia tutorial because Camtasia on Mac and on Windows are looking really similar right now so I'm trying to make a Camtasia tutorial next time uh, tell me if you like it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one